So this is the sanitation bath, and right now you can see it's, there's no water in it. So that's kind of the first important thing. There should be enough water, which we'll have uh, by just kind of pouring some into the sink. But you don't want to have too much water. Uh, where basically what we're gonna do, put your samples in here with alcohol, put them in, and then turn the sonication on. You don't want to have so much water where it's just like floating and tipping over. It's just enough to like hold it, but your uh, bottle or whatever you're using, uh, glass, whatever, should be kind of making contact with the ground and not floating around. So, water. Check, I think that's enough. Just put this here. Yeah, so you can see it's not floating. So that's a good amount. Uh, next thing, you need a container. Uh, you could use one of these, or today we'll just use this. Uh, you want to make sure it's clean, so right now it's not. So just get one of your paper towels in there. Put some alcohol and you'll need alcohol for this process so just have a bottle handy. A isopropyl or ethanol. Just make sure your surface in there is clean before you put the sample in. And the next thing you need, do you have the sample in you? Yeah, you have it in your hand. So I need the sample. Um, so Basically, I'm gonna drop that in there. Next thing, I'm gonna put this down here. What you wanna do is pour alcohol in there. But like, you don't wanna fill it up too high. It's just enough that you cover the top layer. There you go, that's enough. It's like fully covering the part. You can do it from the bottom. But it's not like, super full because that's all you really need so the next thing hey if you can we're just gonna put this in here i want to kind of move it a little bit make sure it's flush so it doesn't move when you do this put that in there turn the machine on and you'll notice it always starts on set d gas you want to change that by just clicking this button three times to set sonics and then um, you honestly just press okay. so then you just fill it up again that's a little too much but it's okay and then put it back in there you can see now I finished sonicating it and the water is like really sorry alcohol in there is really foggy it was clear before we started now you can see it's kind of white so all i'm gonna do is basically get a waistband make sure it's the right one and you can use a funnel for this it'll probably make it easier but just carefully pour the alcohol in there and you want to be careful not to like drop your part in the this thing of course you can see it it's empty so this is the sonicated cube. I'm just going to basically lift um, this over here. This is a screen to protect you from the UV light, this blue thing up here. And this machine uh, just basically shoots the UV light at your parts. So you just want to make sure the part is kind of aligned with the panel under there. So like here it's good. It's like in the middle in that section. And then back here, there's a, like a green switch. Uh, over here. here so now you can see that the light is on um once i turn the switch on and the part is curing so uh basically you just leave it in there i don't want to over cure it but i think a good rule of thumb is like between like half as much time as it took to print or maybe around as much time as it took to print that's a good range to like cure it so it took an hour and 52 minutes to print. Should it be here for an hour? Yeah, roughly, let's see. Okay.